Microtik Point to Point Addressing. Let's begin and provide some backstory for our video, Microtik Point to Point Addressing. Here we have two routers, MTA and MTB, using the typical slash 24 subnet mask or 255.255.255.0. So for our MTA, that will be 192.168.1.1 slash 24. For our MTB, that will be 192.168.1.1. 1.2 slash 24. So we are here in our Microtik A and as you notice, it has an IP address set on our Ether3 interface 192.168.1.1 slash 24. And we are here in our Microtik B and as you can see, likewise, the address for our Ether3 interface is on the same subnet 192.168.1.2 slash 24. So just a quick check if it is working. So let's do a ping. Ping 192.168.1.1. Let's ping Microtik A and yes, it's indeed working. So for this network, the network address is unusable. 192.168.1.0. The broadcast address is unusable too. 192.168.1.255. So the used address from the usable address is dot one and dot two so if only using two routers in this network so 192.168.1.3 up to the 254 is being wasted so a total of 252 from the usable and plus two from the unusable are the total address wasted if you will do the slash 24 addressing for this topology Again, we are going back to the basic to provide some backstory to the logic behind the Microtik point-to-point -point addressing. Then as we go on to study our subnetting, so we have the slash 30 or 255.255.255.252. So in this particular subnet, the network address will be 192.168.1.0 that will be unusable. The broadcast address will be 192.168.1.3 that is still unusable. So the remaining usable will be 192.168.1.1 and 192.168.1.2 which is used on our Microtik C and Microtik D. Likewise on our Microtik D also using version 7 IP addresses. So you have an IP address on our Ether3 that will be 192.168.1.2 slash 30. Let's test if we have reachability on the other side. So ping 192.168.1.1. So we are 1.2. We are trying to test if we could reach the other side. And yes, it's indeed working. So obviously this IP addressing scheme is working. However, we have still some wastage. So we have two wasted from the unusable so we cannot use the network and we cannot use the broadcast so is there any ip addressing scheme that is only using two addresses so instead of this slash 30 that is using four addresses so what if we really need two because in our network we only have two routers so we have an RFC, RFC 3021 using 31 bit prefixes on IPv4 point to point links. It states in that RFC, if a 31 bit subnet mask is assigned to a point to point link, it leaves only with one bit. So consequently, only two possible addresses may result. So back in our topology, so we have now slash 31, so 255.255.255.254. So we have Microtik E and Microtik F. So on our first or on top is using router OS 6.49.7. So Microtik E is using 192.168.1.0 slash 31. And Microtik F is using 192.168.1.1 slash 31. So take note, we haven't used since before our demonstration 1.0 because this is unusable on other prefixes. 
a bit later we will also show slash 31 this time using router os 7.6 so we are in our microtik e using router os 6.49.7 and as you can see we have assigned the slash 31 address on our ether tree so 192.168.1.0 slash 31 so we are in our microtik f and ip address on ether3 is set 192.168.1.1 slash 31 so let's see if slash 31 is supported on 6.49.7 so if we do ping 192.168.1.0 so we should ping the other side so we are 1.1 and we should ping mte so 192.168.1.0 let's see if it's working and there's a timeout so there seems to be no reachability to our mte now how about on our microtik g that is using version 7.6 so still the same we assign an ip address 192.168.1.0 slash 31 on ether3 interface so for our mth we also assign ether3 with a slash 31 so this time it's 192.168.1.1 slash 31 so let's see in version 7.6 if we are able to ping the other side that is 1.0 and yes we are able to reach and it seems that there is reachability and it seems that slash 31 is working as you can see it's working but i only say it seems because at the time of this recording i don't see or maybe i miss uh, the change lag that they support slash 31 again at the time of this recording i don't see any official documentation yet that they are supporting the slash 31 or maybe again i missed that nevertheless we will see if slash 31 will be working on let's say routing protocols let's say if we make use of this addressing scheme to ospf for example so again care is needed if we will make use of slash 31 ip addressing scheme so as you can see on version 6 it is somehow not working or not supported but on version 7 at least on the ping level it's working but again we haven't tried on routing protocols again these comments are made at this time of or the moment of recording so as far as slash 31 ip addressing scheme is concerned there are no wasted ip addresses and now for microtik point to point addressing so in a point to point link with a 32-bit subnet mask, the network address must be set manually to the opposite IP address. For point-to-point -point links, network should be the address of the remote end and starting from router OS version 5RC6, this parameter is configurable only for addresses with a slash 32 net mask. So back here in our topology, we have Microtik I and Microtik J. The only difference this time is we will be using slash 32 or the entire 255.255.255.255 addressing scheme. So here in our MTI or using Microtik Router OS version 7.6. So notice on Ethernet 3, the address is 192.168.1.0. So there is no slash 32 because even if you supply it after you click apply it will be gone okay so automatically it assumes that you only have this address however take a look at the network so the network address must be set manually and this should point to the other end meaning to say the ip address of mtj so for mtj so you have this address on ether3 and take note the address is 192.168.1.1 and the network is the IP address of the other side meaning for MTI 192.168.1.0 so let's ping MTI so IP address print 
So again, my IP is 192.168.1.1. I will ping 192.168.1.0. And yes, it's reachable. So MTJ could reach MTI. Now, if you still haven't get the hang of the slash 32 addressing for Microtik, now let's go to this sample IP address. So an MTI, it will still be stay put on 192.168.1.0 slash 32. But on MTJ, we will modify the address in such a manner that it will carry 192.168.2.0 slash 32. So think about it. In our usual IP addressing, they should not be able to reach. So this is empty letter I and again the IP address remains the same. However, we will edit this to be on the 20. Okay, so because this is the IP address of the other side, 192.168.2.0, click apply, click OK. And then this is empty letter J, the IP address initially was 192.168.1.1 and let's change it to 2.0. The network will still be the same because that is still the IP address of empty letter I. Apply, okay. So what do you think? Can we reach the other side? So again, the IP address for empty letter J is 192.168.2.0 slash 32. So let's see if we could reach 168.1.0. Okay, so the IP address of empty letter I. And yes, it is reachable. And finally, just to drive home the point, I could change this into a different one, like say 10.10.10.0. Apply, okay. So that would mean this will be the IP address of my MTJ. So I will need to edit this into 10, 10, 10, 0. Apply OK and see if we will be able to ping. Let's ping the other side. Again, I just want to point I don't have any routes. Okay, just simply a directly connected interface. Okay, so directly connected route as well. So let's do a ping, tools ping and ping the other side 10 10 10 0 and let's do a ping as well on the other side 192.168.1.0 and yes we are able to communicate between MTI and MTJ with a point-to-point -point addressing